video i'm going to share with you guys how you can make restaurant style vegetarian thai green curry at home without using a store bought thai green curry paste so i'm going to be making everything from scratch and also going to give you little information about what ingredients actually go into thai cooking this is one of my favorite uh, thai curries and i'm sure after trying this recipe it's going to be yours too but before i begin making this recipe if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon so that you are notified every time i upload a new video so let's get started <music> For this recipe I am using coconut milk powder instead of tetra pack or canned coconut milk. By using the powder we can control the creaminess and thickness of the curry and the coconut flavor with this powder is also much better than the tetra pack milk. Most restaurants also use this powder and even I prefer the taste and the texture of powder over milk. Now these are some kaffir lime leaves they are very fragrant citrusy and they have a beautiful lemony aroma they are basically leaves of the kaffir lime tree skip it if you can't find it this is galangal it is sometimes also called thai ginger it has its own unique fragrance which is actually very different from ginger if you can't find it then omit it but don't substitute it with ginger because the flavor of ginger will become too strong now this is thai lemongrass as you can see the bulb is very thick and fragrant as compared to the indian lemongrass but the free flavor is almost the same so you can use either variety this herb is easily available everywhere so definitely don't skip it now we are going to make the base for the thai green curry for that i am making a paste out of coriander ginger garlic some chilies shallots or onions and the dry spices add some water to it and make it into a paste now if you don't find kaffir lime leaves you can also grate in a zest of a lemon to bring that bright lemony flavor to this curry but be careful that you don't grate in the pith or the white part of the peel otherwise the curry will become bitter now this is the lemongrass that i showed you earlier i'm just going to remove the dried parts of the leaf wash this lemongrass thoroughly and remove the outer leaves which are dirty and uh, you know muddy and then using a heavy object i'm just going to pound this bulb of the lemongrass so that it opens up and releases its beautiful aroma and all the you know juices that are there inside the bulb which are flavor packed and they have a super flavor and this is the thai ginger now this ginger is actually very tough to cut so as you can see i am using my meat cleaver to cut this you can use a sharp knife or a heavy knife uh, that you have lying around in your kitchen now in store brought uh, uh, thai green curry paste they have pulverized galangal and uh, lemongrass into the paste itself but these two ingredients are not easy to you know make a paste in home uh, in home based mixers you will end up breaking your mixer so that is why i am using this method now heat some oil in a wok and add in the green paste that we made cook it till it releases the oil and you know all the onion and the garlic flavors have cooked properly and the raw smell has gone off then add in the water and all the flavoring agents so add in the lemongrass the galangal and the kaffir lime leaves and also add in basil leaves so the basil uh, that i'm using is italian basil here because i couldn't find thai basil there is a slight difference in the flavor of thai basil and italian basil but you can use them interchangeably now cover this and simmer it till all the flavor from these aromatics has released into the water and you will just you know feel all the flavor and the beautiful aromas coming out of this curry then add the salt sugar and the lemon juice to season this curry and that's it uh, once the flavor has released this curry is ready to be served usually in thai cooking uh, fish sauce is used instead of salt to flavor the curry fish sauce is made by fermenting salted fish for about 2 years and because i'm making a vegetarian recipe i'm omitting it and instead of sugar palm sugar is used but that's not very easily available at our home so i'm just using regular sugar 
Trust me, a lot of Indian restaurants they also use just regular salt and sugar to flavor this curry. And with the lemongrass and galangal and all these other very strong aromatic spices, it's not going to make much of a difference. Now, once this uh, liquid cools off a little bit, just pass it through a sieve so that all the tough pieces of the galangal, the hard to chew kaffir lime leaves, and the very stringy lemongrass has so has been sieved, and all the flavor. is concentrated in the curry base now i have made a slurry of the coconut milk powder with some warm water whisk this well because there are chances of it becoming lumpy and then add it to the green curry water that we made now just by adding the coconut milk powder also the curry will become fairly creamy but to thicken it and to make it more luscious i am adding some corn flour slurry to it and let it boil off till the rawness of the corn flour goes away now i am adding some green food color to make it more attractive because i need a beautiful picture for the thumbnail of this video but if you are making it for your own consumption you can totally omit adding this color Now the last step to making this curry is just uh, just before serving you need to saute the vegetables of your choice you can use any vegetables uh, that you like to have uh, traditionally there are some typical thai vegetables that go into the curry but i am just using uh, all the vegetables that i like and then just cook them till they are about 60 to 70% done add the curry that we prepared and bring it to a quick boil now adding these vegetables separately uh is important so that they don't lose their crunch and they don't become too mushy or lose their color serve this with some boiled plain rice and that's it the thai green curry is ready So I hope you guys have liked this recipe and you will try it soon. And if you want you can find the written recipe on my website and I'll see you soon with another interesting recipe. Till then happy cooking.